I am honored to announce that I get to co-anchor the New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade for the third year in a row. And to get all of you excited out there, I am meeting up with Irish whiskey expert and pub historian Tim Herlihy to get a little taste of the Emerald Isle right here in the city. Tim, why is New York City such a great place to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? It's the world's oldest, world's biggest St. Patrick's Day parade. It's a lot to do with that. So you're going to show us a couple of places where we can sort of get our Irish on in yeah. New York City. Where are we right now? We're in Slauncha Irish Pub, and Slauncha means cheers or to your health in Irish. And the reason we're here is right in front of us. This is my favorite Irish breakfast in the city. We have our thick cut bacon Irish rasher. We have our black and white pudding. So Tim, we're toasting here and having a little bit of a drink to kick off the day, but that wasn't always the case for St. Patrick's Day. Up until 1961 in Ireland, you couldn't drink on St. Patrick's Day. It's a holy day, so all the pubs and all the off-licenses, liquor stores were closed. I hear 1962 was brilliant though. <laughs> I can only imagine. Tim, not everybody can make it out to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, but there are a few things you can do to celebrate at home, and that's what our next stop is all about. And we're here at Murray's Cheese, gonna taste some of the best of Irish dairy, Irish cheese. I'm pretty excited for this. Murray's is a great destination for all kinds of cheeses and different specialty foods, but they have some special ones that would be great to pick up for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, and there's something special about Irish cheese. Our cattle is grass-fed all year round, so we're really one of the best in the world for dairy, best in the world for cheese, and we have a brilliant sampling from Murray's here today of the best of Irish cheese. Some Cashel Blue, of course Murray's signature Irish cheddar, and also uh, the Ardara as well. That's an absolutely beautiful cheese. I never associated cheese with St. Patrick's Day before, but I'm glad we're doing it. And Tim, we're at our final stop. Where are we headed? Yes, we're at the Dead Rabbit Irish Pub. Brilliant Irish pub and world's best cocktail bar. So we have two wonderful drinks in front of us. The first is the birthday suit. So this is essentially an Irish white Sazerac. It's bright, it's citrus. The next is the Irish coffee, which I nicknamed the injection of personality. <laughs> I like that. Now for people who don't know what's in an Irish coffee, what is it made up of? Well, it's Irish whiskey, sugar, coffee, and then the key to it is heavy whipping cream. <laughs> What's happening here on St. Patrick's Day? I'm gonna be right here on St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna have live music, lots of Irish food to eat, and some of the best Irish whiskey drinks, and it's gonna be a day to remember. Tim, this has been so much fun. Happy St. Patrick's Day. To St. Patrick, slaunch it.